Taking Lex here. Hey everyone! How's it going guys? So tonight I got something special planned for <laughs> yes. you guys and also for Alexia. So this is from my, basically from my um, personal vault, you know, like it's very unknown. Uh, it's very weird. It's very progressive. But um, I like the I, album cover. Okay, we're not going to do this. We're going to do that. <gasps> oh, oh my <laughs> word. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You like this album cover too? Not as much as the other one. Okay, but so but this is very <laughs> yeah, this is very like very like if you if you're into dream theater, you might like this, but it's you know, a step up as this guy's a musical genius. This is actually I heard this before Dream Theater, I think. Like around nineteen ninety nine. I, I heard this for the first time and it was like what is going on and this is from 1997 yeah. so I was like what kind of music is this <laughs> like and then I tried to like imitate it and I had no I was like okay I'm gonna give up but basically this is the musician uh, this is Ron Jarzombek and his band it's a trio and he's basically he got me into Alan Holtzworth because he's a very huge fan of him uh, but he doesn't play like him at all but he does you will notice a certain elements of mm. jazz in his music but not too much it's very metal it's very prog well it's... i think we've done two spastic ink songs on right the and you know that is yeah, very, yeah 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 so I, no, I we did definitely... watchtower and one spastic ink oh yeah but we did right. a different album this is like the, the early spastic oh you're ink. right yeah so this is more like a trio and uh this is amazing very so. exciting and you mentioned this person in um our Frank Zappa reaction. Right, yeah, Ron Jarzon. But he, I think he's also been inspired, of course, by Frank Zappa. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but yeah, he's a huge Rush fan. Like his brother's on the drum, on the drums, and he's on the guitars. Bobby Jarzonbeck and Ron Jarzonbeck, and they're huge in the Rush. And that's basically how they came up with this music and the style. So. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you like yes, it. I'll I'm stop it midway through to see. I mean, I'm just kind of like, I guess, you know, <laughs> do my thing. But so, yeah, Alexia's going to be like the reactor. Okay. Because I've heard this hundreds of times. Perfect. I just wanted to do something very weird and very good. It's good. It's good music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. here we go. Oh, I don't even know which song we're doing. Okay, so this is called, this is from the album Ink Complete. Oh, yeah, I like that. Spastic Ink, and the song is called Mosquito Brain Surgery. And maybe this is going <laughs> to remind you of something from, um, I don't know, there's a song by Emerson, Lake and Palmer, I think it's called Brain Salad. Surgery. Oh, yeah, 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 So you're there, right. there is some, you know. Yeah, that's so true. People so, have been mentioning that nonstop. So I hope you comments. guys enjoy this. It doesn't have... I think it's an album, Brain Salad. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't have like a lot of plays because this music just disappears between the, the, yeah. the cracks. But I hope you guys enjoy. Give this guy some love. <laughs> like, go to his website. Give and him we a always like, put the links in the description. Yeah, this is a musical album. genius. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, okay here let's we go. go. Are, are we up on everything? I yeah, I think so. Let me do a little test. Yep. I like the sound of that. Okay. There we go. All One, right, let's go. Two, three. One, two, three.
forgot how jazzy this is. It's this is very like, jazzy. Yeah. And this is so funny because, like, I was like, I don't know. I was very young when I was listening to this, and I, I immediately liked it. And I haven't listened to this, I don't know, maybe like ten years. And right now, when I was listening, it was like, dum 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 dum. It's like so. It's very jazzy, and then. It's a that that the theme that that goes. Um, oh my god! It's it's just like so jazzy. It's like so cool. Like I I don't know. What do you think? It like, is. It is very. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. It's very fusion and very like out of time. Very chaotic. Mm -hmm. Every like there's two guitars. I no, think. No, it's one. One, but they're doing different things. Oh yeah, he like he overlapped. Oh okay, stuff. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, and one is doing one thing in one ear, and the other one's mm -hmm. doing another. It's very crazy. He plays crazy. like in, he has like one guitar tuned in, and then like four mm. four notes up. Oh yeah, or yeah down, yeah. and then mm -hmm. it has, has like this weird sound. Mm -hmm. But. Oh it's definitely God. like my brain is getting surgery by a mosquito. Uh -huh. Like it it's literally like, feels like that. I'm like, uh, yeah, I love that. I love <laughs> like that. that. <laughs> I love. I love that part when it goes like, and then it goes. Um, it has like this theme, and then the bass does it on its own. Oh yeah, And yeah, the guy's yeah. like playing something else, and the bass goes, like. It's so crazy. I love it. This guy's a genius. Like we should cover him more, but uh, but I, I I'm I'm happy that you like it. This is uh, the most extreme song on the album. Yeah. Uh, I really picked like the the hardest one to digest, but I just want to throw it in like is. you know the you know the craziness, mm -hmm. you know, because there's some songs on there that's still very proggy, but you can like okay. Sit this back is and almost enjoy. Like, I know this is like wow. This is like wow, like you know, let's turn it down. Yeah, but yeah. I love this though. Like yeah. this is literally what got me into jazz and progressive mm -hmm. rock, but more almost more like after listening to this I got like into more into jazz and away from just like normal metal, mm -hmm. you know. We wouldn't listen to Iron Maiden anymore. Right. I ditched Metallica, everything because mm -hmm. it was like this is like something totally different. Right. You know? But uh, yeah, so. All right, well, I rewound it just a few seconds. Yeah, let's, let's get go into back. It. Okay. Yeah.
morning. So did you hear at the end the bass was playing exactly again the same, the same yeah. theme? It's like this this do 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 dum dum do 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 dum do dum do 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 I know it's wild. I know it's. I don't know. Maybe if you have a headache, I'm sorry, but this is just amazing. I mean, if you analyze this musically, it's yeah. just on a different oh, level. Oh, I can tell, but I'm like, you know, because I don't <laughs> yeah, I understand <laughs> like the music, like. The, you have to like you have because to I'm not a musician per se. I just have like a, I don't know, like it's very very um, out there, out there, and very very like you always say, a musician's music. This yeah. definitely this, applies. To yeah, that. I'm sure like people that 100%. listen to Frank Zappa are gonna love this. People that listen to like Prague, that's a little bit more out there. But I would play this to friends of mine, and they would like be like, "No, yeah, like I'm having an anxiety attack." I literally you know? was having anxiety. <laughs> oh my God. I literally, yeah, I, I literally it. had anxiety, and then right when I was like, "Oh my God," like, then, what is this gonna yeah, stop? then like the nice. But see, that's uh, that's what I love about music that it can invoke you, <laughs> yes. like to the, the you want to like get out of there you yeah know? but i just like i could listen to this but i obviously hours. knew that this was on purpose and that's i think why the end was like that uh -huh. because it was, it was like, like okay if we end it like this i mean no. are we ever but gonna is this so much better than like oh you know i yeah. mean this is just like it's so because if you listen to this often enough then you get into the groove and you know mm -hmm. that what the guitar is actually it's like I see this more like almost like that he's talking, mm -hmm. like the doodle doodle did it, doodle 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 doodle, and then da da ba da. Like he does these like wee weird like it's it's not even like more it's not very melodic. It's more like it's almost like he's telling a tale mm -hmm. with the guitar. So it's more it sounds more like a monologue. Yeah, really crazy. Yeah, and then he does like this weird stuff, and the bass does the same line, and he was doing. And the drums is like doing the same stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is just genius. Like guys, yeah. uh, please buy this album. Like show this guy some yes. love. And I mean, there's some other tracks on here that are not as well. You can check them out on YouTube or Spotify. But I mean, this is really like, like other level yes. of your mus musicianship. That's why I, I kind of like feel sorry that I t played you the worst one. <laughs> but even if you already knew what Spaz Singing was about. Yeah, but the other ones I think, uh, well, the other one that we've heard mm -hmm. and the watch, I mean, Watchtower, I'm 100% like a fan. I can tell that this is Ranjar Zombek because he has that style, style of yeah. like, boo, boo, boo. You know, like it's like all over the place, but it's nice and it's very mathematical, like mm -hmm. it's very calculated. Um, and that's why I like Watchtower very much. The Spasik Ink song that we heard last time was very cool, chaotic, but awesome. This one is also, wow, it's just insane. It's just so much that I know, I the, the title is absolutely perfect. Perfect right? for this song. Like a mosquito's like, just like torturing perfect. you, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, totally. Exactly. But yeah. yeah. So, I, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're going to play something like relaxing for Alexia now. <laughs> but I, 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 you made it though, you know? I did. You made I it. did. Like, if yeah, we I want to know what everybody else thinks of this. Would, I want to see the like, would, dislike. Yeah, me life. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, life you can dislike it, you know? Uh, I'm not going to be offended. I mean, if this is too much for you, then, I mean, it's too much, but I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate yes, this. Yes, I'm sure. I mean, if this is the same guy who plays on the, um, that album that, um, oh my, Gordy Knot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, he can go really, Oh, yeah, that's he, why I felt like we had done more of, of yeah, him. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, and there's also some uh, solo stuff that he does, which we could cover uh, sometime. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, Thank we're you gonna guys so cut much. this, uh, short now because we've been talking for about 20 minutes but uh 
So I hope you guys like it and let me know in the comment section. Like Alexia, <laughs> if you are on Alexia's side or my side, let us know. Let's make it fun. Okay? Yes. Thank you everyone right. for being here. We hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.